Hello guys, so today we're going to start off with the folded method. We're trying to figure out is it best to roll or fold your tiles. This is what the folded tile look like in my linen closet. Guys, I have a rainbow of tiles and I cannot stand it. I am so ready to go shopping for new tiles and I will be doing that very soon. I will be color coordinating the tiles for each person. Like my husband's going to have gray. I'm going to have blue or green. My daughter's going to have some form of yellow or orange. And then the baby girl's going to have a pink. So this is what it looks like so far and I can say maybe on this one shelf I may be able to get like another four tiles maybe six tiles and um quite a few wash rags so this is what I'm working with and this is the folded method and I will be showing you how to do this folded method right after so this is the space we have and let's move on you will be starting off with both methods the same way so you're going to be laying your towel out flat and folding it in half horizontally you want to make sure your tag is not revealed you're going to fold it a half again and then once you fold it in a half you're going to fold it in thirds so you're going to flap it over and then you're going to overlap the other part over the piece you just folded over and there you have the folded method nice easy and simple okay so let's move on to the next method and how it looks inside the linen closet. Here's a recap of the folded method sped up. Now we move on to the roll method. Let's see how this looks in the linen closet and let's see how much space this takes up. So guys, here is the roll method. Yes, do you guys see all of that space after folding all the towels? Do you see all the space? Guys, I still have room for guest house, okay? I still have room for guest house. And then think about it. I'm going to be taking some of these towels away so I have more than enough for my family because it's only going to be two per person in my house. And that's more than two per person for the house. So even if I added guest house, I'm still going to have space on the shelf. Then I show you the difference of how to do a two-part fold on a wash rag and a three-part fold. That is a big game changer as well. You get a lot more space doing a three-part fold versus a two-part fold. So, and that also takes the cake in the Robinson house. We do the three-part fold and we have done away with the two-part fold. More space is what we're looking for. So here's a recap of the way you can do a two-part fold with your wash rags and the way you can do a three-part fold. Very simple, very easy. But you already know that the three-part fold has taken the cake for us. So thumbs up on the three-part, thumbs down on the two-part. And let's get into this rolling method, all right? So both methods are basically the same, the first two steps. Make sure you put that tag inside. You're going to make sure you got a flat surface. You're going to fold it in half horizontally. And then once you fold it in half the first time, you're going to fold it in half again. And that is the first two parts of the roll method. Very, very simple. But this is the part that you want to make sure is done correctly. When you roll, you want to roll and tuck and make sure it's tight like you're rolling for your life. Okay, so really, really, really roll it really good. The tighter you roll it, the less space that you take up. So here's the roll method. I'm in love with this method hands down. It gives you more bang for your buck in a small linen closet. So this is my go-to for my linen closet. And here is a recap of me folding the towel in the roll method. All right, guys, thumbs up this video. Please share and I will see you in the next video. But before then, check me out on social media. This is where I am at CPR for the body. And here are some great vids for you to check out.